everyone, how's it going? Worst Epic Gamer here, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, we are taking a look at the Hall of Legends, Haruk, and I'm going to show you guys what team I used and how I was able to get top ranks in the uh, in the Hall of Legends, guys. Now, the resources are really good. You can get pet food if you need it, or you can get a bunch of different soul stones from here. So, it's really nice to be able to get as high as possible, all right? Now, Hall of Legends is always a lot of luck, a lot of RNG. So, you know what I mean? You can never, ever, ever predict the same outcome every time but if you do the right strategy it'll definitely work out for you in the end and uh you'll be able to get a good score right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you guys for along with the battle i'm gonna break it down for you slow it down and i'm gonna show you exactly you know what i did to uh to get a high score all right so let's go ahead let's break this down Let's begin the battle now. Uh, as you can see, the team that I'm using now, all of them are pretty much free to play, except for Petros. He's not released yet. Um, if you want somebody else instead of Petros, you can go with a couple of different heroes. Um, Tanya works well. Tarot does okay. If you happen to have um, Ezio, I'm not sure. But uh, just try out different scenarios and, and you'll find something that works out, okay? But mostly the strategy is important. Now, let's go ahead. Let's keep going on here. The video is going to go a little bit slower, so you're going to be pausing at, at times here so first of all i want to show you guys his one of his abilities that he begins with in the beginning is when he slams his sword down now pay attention to this ability because it's crucial this one is going to deal a lot of damage to everybody as the battle goes on but what it really does that's the worst part is it will charm your heroes who will, uh all heroes who have full energy are going to be charmed and they're going to be attacking your team teammates instead of him all right so that's why this ability kind of sucks later on is when he uses that ability, most of the time you want to not have a full energy bar. But sometimes you do. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by that a little bit later. But mostly you don't. Now let's go ahead and uh, continue the battle here. In the beginning, you really don't want to do anything guys. All you're going to do is just wait for your energies to fill up. This ability here is the worst ability that he has, and it's very crucial to the battle. Raging Flames is going to deal damage over time to all your heroes, and it's going to make them unable to cast their ultimates, one. But the good thing is, is you can avoid this, uh, this ability, this attack, if you have full energy. Now, that's the tricky part about a rook that you got to pay attention to is, for this attack, you need to have a full energy bar for the Raging Sword, you cannot have a full energy bar or else you're going to be charmed against your teammates. So that is what you got to always pay attention to in the battle. This one, make sure that you do have full energy. The other one, make sure you don't. But just see how the battle goes and you guys will understand what I mean by that. Now, as you can see here, all of them are being attacked. They're all taking damage over time because of none of them had full energy. The first 20 to 30 seconds, you really don't want to do anything. Let all your energies just build up as many as possible as you can see here i got two energy full already but i'm not using them yet i'm waiting for them all uh the key sometimes in this battle is lingling Ling, guys lingling Ling is very important if you can manage to get her ultimate ready to go it would be great now in this situation as you can see all five of my heroes are ready to go they all will have their energies bars full Sometimes that doesn't happen. Ling Ling sometimes will not be ready. So that is situational. But if she's not ready, it, you, it can still, you can still get a top score. You don't really need it. But it really helps if you have all five of them ready to go now. At this point, you don't want to use them still, guys. Even though, like I said before, when he uses his sword, look at this. Garik, Sylphie, and um, Gorum are confused. It's still fine because they're not going to be able to dish out too much damage to kill anybody. So you can handle that for now. Uh, what you really want is your ultimates for this ability right here. So Raging Flames is active. And as you can see, none of them are affected because they have full energy bars. Right? If your energy is full, Raging Flames does not affect you. That's terrific. Now, at this point, what you want to do is you want to cast your four first abilities on the first four heroes. Right? This is what I like to do. And then as soon as Garik releases his ultimate... Right there, that's when I click on Lingling. Ling, Alright, so when Gari goes, I click on Lingling. Lingling Ling Ling needs to go about a second later than everybody else because it makes the biggest difference in the battle, as you will see in a little bit. So as she's recharging her ability, if you know how to use her ability, fine. If you don't know how to use it, here's how you, what you gotta pay attention to, guys. As you can see, there is a circle around Lingling Ling that's going to be getting smaller. Uh, you click on it when it's at its smallest, alright? 
So as you can see, I'm about to, I clicked on it right there, and now it's going to give my whole team a shield. Now, as I got my shield, you can see that Haruk is about to go into his sword ability. That ability is going to be negated just because I have Lingling's ability. So Lingling will shield all your team, and they will not take any damage, as you can see, which is crucial in the battle. This is the most important part of the battle. Without Lingling, it's almost really, really hard to do. Now, everybody is still full health, and I didn't take any damage so far in the battle. There were 43 seconds left. We got 2 million to go, so it's pretty good. Now, next ability, I like to go with Sylphie, but I don't use pretty much anybody else at this point. The reason why I don't use anybody else is because he's going to go into his Raging Flames again, and that's kind of why you have to wait. Ling Ling, you want, you want to time it. See, here's the thing about timing. You want to time it to see that you can get his her ultimate when he's about to use his Slashing Sword ability. It's a little bit tricky at this point right now because he goes into Raging Flames before his uh, sword attack. So as you will see here pretty soon, now I have all four energies ready to go. Ling Ling is about to cast her ultimate. I'm going to get the shield, but he goes into his Raging Sword. Like I said, he goes into Raging Sword first, and then he goes into his, to his sword. So it's a little bit tricky with Ling Ling, but it still works out for me right here because Raging Flames only affects Ling Ling, and she's already used her ultimate, so it's not a problem. Then I, auto, I hit auto on, use all ultimates at once. At the same time, he's going into his sword attack right after the Raging Flames. That's why it makes it really, really hard to kind of time it so well. But he uses that. Now, luckily, my heroes don't die because of it. They're still alive, except for Ling Ling. But at this point, she's already served a purpose. She's really useless at this point now, guys. And there's only 23 seconds left. Now, I pretty much spam as many ultimates as I can at this point. Because you want to just dish out as much damage as possible. Uh, these heroes have a good amount of lifesteal with Garek and uh, Ling Ling regains... I mean, uh, Sylphie regains her health so you can survive for a good amount of time. And we're at 5 million now with 14 seconds left. And now it pretty much becomes just... Play it smart, use as many ultimates as you can together to save time. And as you can see here, I used three at once, which was really great. And I'm pretty sure um, I'll be able to use Sylphie one more time here. That's right, Sylphie one more time. And then the last five seconds is all about dealing as much damage as possible to try to get, you know, obviously as high as possible. But as you can see, guys, that's how I was able to do 6.8 million. And 6.9 is the highest on my server right now. So uh, I'm really, really close second place which is pretty good for me so i'm pretty happy with that score you know i'll take that any day but that's how you do hall of legend haru guys i hope that helps you guys out if i break it down and slow it down for you guys a little bit here and as you can see these are the damage output sylphie is crucial she's really really important for this she does a lot of damage ling ling does not do any damage at all but i showed you why she's so important guys she's very important in the hall of legends uh gorum does very well petros just does a lot of damage but there's some replacements that you can use for him um so he's not an absolute necessity but the other guys are very important and they're all free to play so you can get them and you should be able to to get a pretty high score for this right so i hope that helps you guys out let me know in the comments what the highest score on your server is guys let me know if this helped you out drop a thumbs up a like to let me know that these videos are helping you guys out and that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna end this off here and i will catch you guys on the next Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>